What's up guys? Good morning. It's your coach Dave here. It is, oh, we have a broken clock, so I don't even know. What time have we got, babe? Um, 10.20. It is 10.20 in the morning. We just finished and completed, finally completed the shift shop, done with the workout. My daughter Addie in the picture. Say hi, Ads. Almost my birthday. Yeah, it's almost Addie's birthday. It's her it's her birthday on August 29th, but for her, it's her birthday month, so it's every day. So Addie, Addie um, came down here during the workout, but that's what's great about our workouts and getting it done. We can get them done with our kids downstairs here. And I remember only a couple years ago, before we were in this current house, we were in a house where the basement playroom, which was super small, we had toys everywhere, we would push stuff up against the wall, it was an absolute mess, but we got our workouts done because that's when we put our health and life in priority and that's when we started focusing each and every day. But my message to you guys is life doesn't always fire a warning shot. And guys, what I mean by that is so many of you, and I may be talking directly to you, you have been procrastinating for months, for years, for decades about taking care of your health. You have sat here and have told yourself you don't have enough time. You have sat here and told yourself that you will do it when your kids go back to school. Also, you have sat here and told yourself you will do it in the summer when your kids get out of school because you have more time in the summer. You have told yourself that I'm gonna do it and start on the weekend because work is too busy. You have told yourself every reason and given yourself every excuse of why you're not going to work out. It's too busy, I don't have time, I'm gonna do it in the summer, I'm gonna do it when the kids go back to school, I'm in the middle of changing jobs, somebody in my family is sick, somebody, I have to work extended hours, whatever it is, guys, and I'm here to tell you that life doesn't always fire a warning shot. And I can tell you that I was been having stomach issues for the past couple months, we're able to figure out everything that's going on, but it, it's scary, when you have something going on, you don't know what it is with your health, nothing else matters. When you have nothing else going on, right, and all of a sudden you have an issue with your health, nothing else matters. And I think so many people toy with their body thinking there's a replacement. They toy with their body thinking it won't happen to me. They toy with their body saying it's not going to happen now. And before you know it, life's going to strip you to the core and something's going to happen to you that's going to hit you home. And all of a sudden, then your health becomes a priority. You wait for the emergency for it to be a priority. And sometimes it's too late because I've seen people have heart attacks. I've seen people with diabetes. I've seen people have strokes I've seen people that have passed away and they played the most dangerous gun in the world you know what the most dangerous gun in the world is I'm gonna I'm gonna do this I'm gonna do that I'm gonna do this next time you have every excuse in the book I don't have enough money like tomorrow or in a month or in six months we're gonna wake up with an abundance of money in our savings account guys that's never gonna happen you're not gonna wake up with an abundance of time all of a sudden you have 24 hours you are where you are and if you put your health first you will get rid of your excuses and you will make it happen this really drove home last night because a close friend of ours had got some very sad news yesterday about the their health and it struck home again about these workouts and today's workout Chris and I fought and we pushed for this person we fought and pushed to put through to take care of our health we fought for them for the fight they're going to have to fight we fought for them and realized that they're gonna be even in a tougher journey and I'm fighting right here portraying you guys this message to saying stop freaking toying with your health it drives me crazy the excuses that I get from parents it's the same thing and so often you're letting your excuses dictate your your you're letting the circumstances dictate your life and before you know it it's going to be too late and you think that life's going to fire a warning shot for you it doesn't always happen you guys know my story you know I lost my best friend in an instant in April 25th, 2007. You know that Kristen's mom passed away very rapidly in only a couple of months when she found out that she was sick and she had cancer. I know from being in the state police, people in their 40s, 30s, 50s, having strokes, having heart attacks, and they played with the, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna wait till I have time. I'm sick and tired of it, guys, because I want every single human being on this earth to live the healthiest, best, 
most fulfilling life possible. And I think so darn often I hear the darn excuses and you blame everything else except yourself. Rule yourself. It has nothing to do with the circumstances. It has everything to do with you and the choices you make each and every day. Success is hidden in your daily agenda. Stop playing with your life and thinking you have another one because you don't. And life can be over in an instant. I'm 100% serious about this today. I came on here because I've had some real you know, sh shaking of the core this week when it came to health. And I think so often, so many of you, I get it in the messages back. I get it in person. I get it on the phone calls. I've had it since uh, 2010 when I decided to get my health in order and use the vehicle of Beachbody to help so many people. I've heard thousands of excuses. And finally, when people realize what I'm saying, their life has changed. They're better. They have more energy for their kids. They realize they find more time because it's a priority. They're better at work, their life is better, their marriage is better, and you're sitting there and letting your excuses dictate your life and your circumstances. Like, enough is enough, guys. Go for it. Start with something. Do something. You guys know I have a group starting in a couple of weeks. We're here to help you. I don't care if you have to lose 400 freaking pounds. We don't care. It is a judgment-free zone. We're here to help people each and every day. I believe in that. I'm passionate about it, and I will not stop 24-7, 365. Have an amazing Saturday. Hope to see some of you on the Hey Row Show shortly. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.